Hi, I'm Seth Tate, Product Manager at Bloom US, and today we're going to install an Aventos HKXS in both a frameless and face frame application. Let's first take a look at the hardware we'll need for our installation. Regardless of whether your application is frameless or face frame, you'll need a lift mechanism that is rated for the weight of your door. We'll walk through the calculation required to choose which lift mechanism is right for your application in our next step. Along with the lift mechanism, you'll need a cabinet mounting plate, either the frameless or face frame variety. You'll also need a door mounting plate, either the standard version or the version specifically made for large overlay five-piece doors. Finally, you'll need two hinges and two hinge mounting plates. For frameless applications, we recommend using clip-top Blue Motion hinges. For face frame applications, we recommend using compact clip hinges. Although compact Blue Motion hinges and clip-top Blue Motion hinges work as well. For our face frame install, we'll use the recommended compact clip hinges. There are three versions of the lift mechanism. Each is rated for a specific power factor range. You can tell the different lift mechanisms apart by noting the number here, with the 11 version supporting the least amount of weight and the 15 version supporting the most. To determine your application's power factor, you'll need to solve this simple equation. Power factor equals cabinet height multiplied by door weight, which includes twice the weight of your door's handle. We'll use our frameless cabinet as an example. Since the weight of our door is 6.7 pounds, and the height of our cabinet is 15 inches, our power factor is 100. Based on this table found in our literature, our power factor falls within the range of the 13 lift mechanism. Now that we have all the necessary hardware, we can begin our installation. Using the images in our Aventos literature as a guide, we can determine the mounting locations of our cabinet mounting plate and our door mounting plate. We'll start with the cabinet mounting plate. As you can see, the screw locations are 37 millimeters in from the front edge of the side panel. In order to find the vertical drilling distance, we'll have to solve for Y using the equation Y equals 137 millimeters plus D plus K, where D stands for mounting plate height and K stands for hinge arm crank. Since our hinge mounting plate height is zero millimeters and we're using a straight arm hinge Y equals 137 millimeters for our application. Now that we know our cabinet mounting plate location, we'll want to find our door mounting plate location. To find the distance from the side of our door to our mounting plate screw locations, we'll add 15.5 millimeters to OL, which stands for overlay. Since our overlay is 17 millimeters, our side distance is 32.5 millimeters. To find the distance from the top of the door to the mounting plate top screw location, we'll solve the following equation. 126 millimeters plus D plus K plus OL, where D is a mounting plate height, K is hinge arm crank, and OL is overlay. Using the variables for our application, we'll solve the equation to find our vertical distance, which ends up being 143 millimeters. Now that the locations for both mounting plates have been determined, we can install our hardware. We'll start by installing the cabinet mounting plate. Once installed, we'll want to attach our lift mechanism to it, allowing the lift mechanism to hang for a moment while we install the door mounting plate. Finally, we'll use a power drill to make a tension adjustment so that our door will stay exactly where we leave it. We'll start our face frame application by determining our cabinet mounting plate location. As you can see in the illustration, the screw holes for our mounting plate will be 9.5 millimeters in from the front edge of the face frame. Since we're using a full overlay compact clip hinge, the distance from the top edge of our face frame to our mounting plate screw locations will be 162 millimeters. 
If you're using a half overlay hinge, the distance would be 178 millimeters. Now that we know our cabinet mounting plate location, we'll want to find our door mounting plate location. To find the distance from the side of our door to our mounting plate screw locations, we'll add 15.5 millimeters to our overlay, which is 32 millimeters. And since we're using a large overlay mounting plate, we'll subtract an additional 19 millimeters to accommodate its offset hole locations, giving us a final distance of 28.5 millimeters. The distance from the top of the door to the mounting plate top screw location is the fixed distance of 134 millimeters. Now that the locations for both mounting plates have been determined, we can install our hardware. Just like before, we'll install our cabinet mounting plate first, allowing the lift mechanism to hang for a moment while we install the door mounting plate. Finally, we'll use a power drill to make a tension adjustment, ensuring that the door is properly balanced. If you have any questions about Aventos HKXS or any of our other products and services, please visit our website at bloom.com. If there are any videos you'd like to see in the future, please let us know in the comments below.